Head over to BoardGamePrices.com to find the best price and availability for thousands of games. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Just recently, I reviewed Football Highlights 2052, which is the standalone sequel game to Baseball Highlights 2045, both designed by Mike Fitzgerald uh, and published by Eagle Griffin Games. Now, I'm going to do a comparison. I'm gonna give you a quick one minute overview of both games, and then I'm gonna see you on the other side, and I'll talk about which different areas, which one I like better versus the other, and then my final thoughts. Football Highlights 2052 is a card game for one, two, or four players where you'll be one of these popular teams, Philadelphia, San Francisco, Dallas, or New England. Both teams have their own board where they'll be playing cards, but they're trying to get their football to score on the other team's field. Players will be playing cards trying to block plays with helmets to footballs and of the same play type, like passing, but then the card they selected for defense flips and becomes their offensive play, so there's lots of strategy as to what you pick. And mismatched defense, like a run defense versus a pass offense, will cause not only the play to happen, but also some extra yardage. And if you have no good cards to play, you may have placed a card secretly as your audible to use later, which if you time at the right time, can give you a stop or a score at the right time. If you're learning to play, you can play with the pre-made 15 card teams, and experienced players can start with five all-stars from a team and draft from a huge free agent deck. There's also a solo mode, and you can play head-to-head, -head, tournament, or in leagues. Baseball highlights is for one to four players, and you'll be playing as one of these popular teams, Boston, San Francisco, Los Angeles, or New York. Teams are made up of three types of players, naturals, which are humans that are great at defense, or cyborgs that are great at pitching, or robots that are great at hitting. Head-to-head -head players will be playing on their own boards, but simultaneously. Players will be playing cards and threatening hits of different speed runners. Players will be trying to stop those hits, but also those cards are their offense for what they're threatening. And so like it's a ping pong match, possibly allowing the other player to get their hits, but then threatening yours. Each game is a five minute mini game and at the end of each one, you'll have money to spend. And you'll be spending that money on other players that are more powerful to make your team better. But these cards go right in your deck so your opponent knows who might be coming up next game. You can play a two player head to head where the first of four games wins, or you can play a tournament where each box plays up to four players, or you combine multiple boxes for bigger tournaments and there's also a solo mode. All right, well, let's dive in here. First thing we'll talk about is the thematic feel. Both games feel very thematic. Uh, and football highlights, it has that, uh, you know, that, that tension at the end of each half, and it's kind of conservative at the beginning when you have lots of plays and things that, the, you know, options. But as the, the, you know, the halves get closer, your options get less, and things start to get pretty crazy, and you're, you're having a hard time matching your defender, and things get nuts towards the end of the halves, and it really feels so much like football. Now, baseball highlights also does with the hitting and the running and the, hey, the, the, you know, if, if you get a single from, from and there's an average run on second, they score. I mean, that's super thematic. Uh, both games do a fantastic job of making you feel like you're actually playing the sport. Uh, but they're also very good at make, abstracting certain aspects that make it be like, well, even if you didn't like either sport, you could still like or love this game because of the card play. Uh, but with that being said, the thematic feel, I just give that edge to football because it just, the craziness and the way that the ball bounces in football, crazy things happen, the action deck brings that in. Uh, it's very close, but it's going to give a, a slight edge there to football highlights in this one. The multi-use cards. Baseball highlights has them too. They, they don't spin like football highlights does, but you have a card that's possibly going to do like an ability, maybe a defensive, uh, you know, a glove, and it's going to, you know, cancel hits. But then that same card is going to threaten your hits, right? So multi-use cards are used in both games, but, and I love the way that works in that game, by the way, you know, the, the whole ping pong feel that that game has is so unique. Never seen that in any other game. Uh, but Football Highlights has that multi-use, but that whole spinning and lining up the icons gives this game an abstract layer that's different from baseball. Uh, and in my opinion, it's even more interesting than baseball because you've got this thing and you're not only just thinking of the type of play, which is passing, running, or mall, but you're also trying to line up the right icons too. And it just adds a, like almost like a third dimensional aspect of that multi-use card that just makes the amount of choices you have spider out of control. Just, it's so good. 
So I'm going to give this edge to football highlights there. Uh, the next one is drafting teams. Now you can draft teams in both. Uh, in baseball, you're at the end of each little mini game, you're, you're, you're drafting usually one card, sometimes two. Uh, and you're watching what they're doing and their strategy is to, so who goes first and things like that. You're watching what they take and then you can immediately react to that because you know that that card is going to be in that player's pool next game. For sure you know that and you can react. And it's interesting because you can be like, oh, I'm going down the strategy. You got that. That's fine. I'm going down the strategy and get something else. Or you could be like, you know what? You're getting that. I'm going to get this. You're, you're going to get a great robot. Well, I have this curveball pitcher that's going to strike him out next, next game. I just got to know when he's coming out. Just got to hold on to him. And I love that aspect that you can predict what they're going to do. But then after the, the deck shuffles through, you won't know when it's coming up. But you know at some point you have a card that's in there that will stop that. And if it comes later in the game and, 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 and you got an, aud you got an audible, you got a, a pinch hit and you can try to draw for that card, you know it's there somewhere. It just adds a really cool aspect to this. The drafting for football is awesome too because in football you're dra you can draft right off the bat. Take five All-Stars and then draft your starting team, which is amazing because every game is going to feel so, so, so different because only five of your 15 cards are going to be like known to the other player. Well, I guess some of them are known through the drafting, depending on what type you do. Uh, but And then the, the adjustment draft, where you're trying to draft to, to adjust to what they're doing, that's great too. But I've got to give the nod here to baseball highlights because I really love the tactical ability to be able to draft and react directly. In, in the football highlights, you're drafting so many cards at once each time, it's really hard to sort of like go back and forth and just uh, do what you do in baseball. So I'm, I'm gonna say I like the drafting aspect in baseball better, so that one gets the nod here. Uh, under the tactics and strategy, uh, this one is essentially a tie. I mean, both of them have that just interesting thing where you look at your hand at the beginning of that game and you go, or, or half, and you go, okay, look, I've got this and this and this. I want to save this for this time. I want to save this for this. Baseball, you're like, oh, sometimes you look at your hand and you go, I know exactly what order I'm going to play. I, I want to play all five of these cards, just the way they work together. And that's really fun. Uh, and then in football, you're like, oh, there's these two cards that I want to save for later. This one's going to be perfect for audible. Uh, you know, and you're trying to like draw, th draw things out so you can play audibles. And the tactics strategy is there too. They're both very deep in strategy and tactics. Uh, and I love them both for their different reasons. They both feel very different, but familiar at the same time, which is sort of an odd thing, but I'm gonna give this a tie. The game formats uh, and game length. Uh, I like baseball highlights better for this reason. I love the format of baseball highlights where each little mini game is like five minutes, maybe seven tops. And you're playing a bunch of these mini games. So if things get out of control and someone beats you 12 to four, okay, that's okay. Well, we just reset, we'll go to the next game. Um, and not that that happens in football that you get knocked out a lot, but I'm just saying like those little small little snippets, I really love because at the end of each of those, you're getting a buy around, you get to change your team. And it just has this arc that is so elegant. Uh, I just love those short little mini games with the buy rounds. And not that I don't like having a longer game, but you know, that, that lends itself, uh, you know, to, to, to more interesting sort of little bite-sized pieces of the game where you start over each time. And I, I tend to like that better than the football one. Tournaments. You can play both in tournaments. You can play up to four players with both games and you can add more copies of the game to play bigger, bigger tournaments. So those are sort of a tie there. But I really like the baseball highlights, uh, the way they do the tournaments. Because again, because of those quick little mini games, when you have a four player game, for example, you're playing each other player three games in a row and then you're done. And then you're, you're, the, the two best records are going to head head to head for the World Series and if you're just playing four players. And that's so fun and so cool. And the game changes so much because you're drafting, uh, you know, in a head to head, you're drafting against that player. In a tournament, you're just drafting to get the best team. And it's funny because when you get to the, to the final game, someone's going to be like, oh, yeah, watch out for this player. He's a heavy on robots. Or, oh, watch out for all their natural stuff like that. They have like an ide a team identity, which is really cool. Uh, with football, because it's just one long game between each other, you know, you'll play a game and then you'll just play one more for the championship. And, and it works fine and it works well. And I still prefer the tournament versus just the head-to-head -head in football highlights. But man, the way that you get to play every player in that round robin in baseball uh, just makes the tournament much, I like it more. So both games here, uh, there's great positives and negatives of both. Um, and I must preface this, the winner for me is baseball highlights. Uh, but I must, it's, this is kind of not fair. 
I've played a lot of games over the course of this reviewing career I should have had, you know, definitely more than a thousand. And Baseball Highlights is my favorite game of all time. It's just the best game I have. It's my favorite game. So to have a game displace that is almost impossible, pretty much. Statistically, it's very, it's, it's almost impossible. Base, football Highlights is my favorite game I've played all year, and I've played a lot of games this year. And it's easily in my top 20 of all time. And if I thought about this more, I'd have to see, but it's probably in my top 10 of all time as well. This game is fantastic. Both of these games are awesome. My recommendation is to you is the following. If you're trying to figure out, well, which game should I get? First of all, if you like one sport better than the other, I would say go with that. Both games are excellent. It's not gonna matter which one you go with. They're both gonna be fantastic. I'd say get both for sure. But if you're trying to figure out, well, I only have a budget for one, which one should I go with? Go with the one you like the sport better. It's gonna resonate with you better. I think you'll like it better. Uh, or if you don't carry the way, if you like them both the same, or you don't like either sport, you should still play one of these or both of these games. And I would say if you like deck building better, uh, or you're going to play most likely in four player tournaments, I would say get baseball. Uh, if you like straight drafting, like, hey, take a card, pass the card, take the card, pass the card, or open drafting where you're drafting back and forth, um, I would say then, then then get the football one first. Uh, if you like one, you're most likely gonna like the other because even though they are very different, they're somewhat similar. So that's it. I hope this helps you make a decision or, or, or get a feel for if you already know baseball, how this compares and things like that. This has been the Game Boy Geek, breaking down barriers, growing relationships through board games by helping you find the next one you'll love. Did you miss the Game Topper 2.0 Kickstarter? Have no fear. It's not too late to get in on the ultimate gaming accessory. Convert your table into a high quality gaming table with a fully portable game topper system and take advantage of some of the best three millimeter premium gaming mats in the industry. New styles, new sizes, and new accessories can be yours. Upgrade every game you play by late backing now at GameToppersLLC.com.